as you can see, Hubby's been to pick it up. Um, there's a few issues, so I'm going to fill you in in a minute, um, and I'll talk you through that. Hi, so basically, um, Hubby uh, and my friend Jamie, they've been collecting the greenhouse. Um, I was told that I had all its glass panes, but as you can see, uh, the back of it is actually bored. But not to worry, we'll get some perspex or some replacement panes. Um, and it's got no ceiling, seal, rubber seals with it at all. So I think they're just going to have to buy some of that. Um, the glass is very green, so I'm going to have to do some cleaning. I think we've had some breakages. Um, and then when they picked it up, my husband forgot to get the bricks, so they're going to have to go out and get the bricks because obviously it needs staging. Um, but we are going to keep it on the patio. We're going to move it across. I know it's going to block a bit of my light from the window, but at the minute it's the best place for it because I've got no other level ground. So whilst he's gone out, um, he's handed me this and he's told me to start doing a bit of this. So I'm going to get on and... Um, clear out the channels as you can see I think it was just the debris keeping it watertight because all the seals have gone so that's my job for the next half an hour is to go round give it a clean up um, ready for when they come back with some seals and then they can get the glass in that, and we'll see what how many panes that I'm going to have to pick up um, and buy so it doesn't help when the dogs are in the way but yeah so i'm really chuffed because even though it's not looking great at the minute um it will be so you know it's bigger than i thought because there was no size on it so i think it's a six foot by eight foot by the looks of it uh, and the bonus was there was a, a little wooden pot in bench as well i was allowed to pick that up and bring that um so 35 pound can't complain yes i'm gonna have to buy a few replacement bits but yeah it's not bad that nice little bench to do me putting on so i'm really pleased um and then i'll come back to you in a bit when it's all up and running and together and um and clean it up hi it's manda from aj's allotment it's wednesday and although it's been a bit blustery i've managed to get out the plot um so what i'm doing today is i'm digging my trench and i'm going to put my first early potatoes in um, i'm going to have a little potter about i've brought my newspapers um, ready to start my no jig um, so I'm going to see what I can get done I'm only going to spend about an hour up here today and make sure everything's ready for the storm that we're supposed to be having and um, just make sure things are fastened down properly um, and I'll show you when I've done that sorry about the road noise it's a bit busy um, so I've dug my first trench I've never dug a trench with my potatoes before and um, I've only ever grown them at home in bags or like in a little bed so I'm hopefully I'm doing it right. It's a little bit wonky. So I'm going to put my first earlies in. They're Winston's. Um, and then I'll show you when I've done those. So when you're putting your potatoes in, it's really important that you put row side up. So chip side up. And space them out. Um, got some good chips on these. I think they'll be happy. I might just get two rows of these. So I'm spacing them roughly I'm sorry, about 30 centimetres apart. Uh, I'm not sure if that's right or not. I think some people might do them a bit further closer together or... I'm not sure. Normally I don't do things further enough apart, so... We give plenty of space to these. Um, the soil's lovely, it's been covered all winter. So, um, can't see any weeds really. Only a tiny odd little bit, so it's been really good actually. There's only a little bit there. So I'm really pleased with that. Right, so I'll do the rest of these. Right, so I've put two rows of um, my first earlies in. And then I've covered this area, which will then be for my main crop. Um, I'm really impressed with how the soil is, to be honest, because uh, last year I only dug it partly, covered it, put some squash in, and I've left it covered since they came out. Um, and it's great, barely a weed in sight, lots of worms, really, really nice, really impressed with that. 
so what I'm going to do now is I'm starting my no dig. Um, so I've just uh, raked over here. Um, I've put some of the old well rotted down manure that was left here down. I've just briefly raked over. I'm not going to do a massive job. I'm not going to go digging and pulling big things out. So now I'm going to put my layer of newspaper down, um, which will cover it, and that'll be my new soil layer. But there's so much goodness underneath, I'm not too concerned. Hopefully, if it keeps everything else at bay, by the time things really get going, um, everything else will rot it down. Because it, it's done quite well, actually. Not much has come up, um, and I've not really done anything with it. So hopefully, I'll put the newspaper layer down. I've got some compost. I'm going to stick a very thin layer over the top of that. Um, I'm hoping to get some hay as my mulch, but I've not gone on and got that yet. So I just want to get the first layer down. But obviously, because it's going to be windy, I want to make sure that the newspaper's going to stay. Um, so I'm going to do that now. And then, again, I'll pop back with the next bit and I'll put it all together. Right, so I'll try and show you briefly, one-handed, what it is that I'm doing to do the um, no-dig newspaper layer. So as you can see, I've patchwork quilted it. So you need roughly between five and ten sheets of newspaper but it depends if you're going to double them up so this one's quite thick so i'm going to do it as a like doubled up briefly wet it in a bucket with water you don't want it absolutely sopping and then you need to get it down so right up to the edges you don't want nothing showing so that's my edge just here that bit's going to be dug out so it's got a cover, it's got to overlap, like you would do any weed cover. You don't want no gaps. Um, so here's, right, so again I've got four or five sheets that I'm doubling up. So in the water, excuse any wind or road noise today. It's not the best of days to be doing this, to be honest. But I ain't got much time to get down here. So again, look, cover the sides, patchwork quilt it. Um, and obviously you're wetting it so it doesn't blow away and it sits down um, you're going to need a lot of newspaper I, I was worried I wouldn't be able to get hold of any um, but my husband kindly asked at work if people would leave the newspapers so we got me a stash uh, your bigger ones are good get more coverage with those if you're independent and things like that so get it wet Get it patchworked over and it creates a really lovely barrier. So this is going to be the new soil layer. So when we dig and plant things in, we're going through this, this is our soil. Um, and then we put a mulch layer over and then the weeds that are underneath it will gradually rot down and put all that goodness that they've absorbed back into the soil. Um, it, I think it's more a gamble. I've put a link at the end of the video um, and she's in Australia, permaculture. And this is how she does her bed, so um, I'm going to give it a go and see if it works. Hopefully it won't all blow away um, in Storm Doris, I think it is, we're having. So, sorry about this. It's one-handed again. I really must get myself a better camera. But we work with what we've got, don't we? I'm, I find this really quite interesting, so I'm pleased to finally get up here and get going. I felt really useless the last week or so, not getting out. So I've taken some time back today to get up and do my things um, so that's that bit um, I'll crack on and I'll show you when I've done this bed right so um, now the bed's well I say the bed it's actually a quarter um, of this bed because it's a big bed really but if you divided it up it would be um, like one bed so that's done now so all I've done so I've put the newspaper layer down and I've just put a very very thin layer um, of compost um, on the top and um, then when I get some hay I'll put a mulch layer of hay on so that's what I'm going to then work into so hopefully in theory the newspaper should act as a barrier and um, the weeds shouldn't come up hopefully so I've got a bit further to do but my back is absolutely done in um, as you know I've got a really bad back I'm sorry if the volume's not very good today the weather's not great but I thought I'll get this shown because I've not managed to get up here. One thing I will show you is if you remember we cleared the gooseberries out and these are the ones that we actually cut back and as you can see they're looking really really healthy. I've got new growth on them, they're looking really really good 
and I didn't get the job finished so we only got halfway up so if I do a comparison and these are the ones that we've yet to sort out massive difference in how healthy they look really really different so that's on my jobs for this week a blackcurrant bush looking well but yeah I can't believe the difference I really really can't they look so so good a real real noticeable difference and obviously they're starting to shoot so they obviously enjoyed that little haircut they had that prune <sighs> Right, so I'm really pleased with the amount I've managed to get done today because I really didn't think I was because the weather's not great. Just going to fasten all this polythene down because the wind's getting up now. Um, still got loads to do. I feel like I'm climbing up a big mountain and not getting to the top. But I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Maybe not this year. Um, the onions are poking through. I wasn't actually sure if there was in there. I thought the birds might have had them. As you can see, something's dug some up. Laying on the top. But there's life. Garlic's going. But this bed needs some attention. So, one at a time. I'll not stress myself out too much. Um, and I'll show you my greenhouse when I get home because we did get it. Needs a few bits doing to it. But at least I can get in there and get some things sewn. But still got all this mess to sort out down this end. Right, so that's it from up at the allotment. Let's get in there. Uh, please remember to subscribe if I don't put it on at the end. Um, and follow my journey. So that's from the plot. That's it for now. I'll see you back when I get home. Bye. Right, here we are, folks. Drum roll, please. This is the greenhouse. So we decided to put it on the patio in the end. Um, it's not going to get sunlight all, like, all day long, but um, it's the most practical place for us to put it as a family, really. So it's an 86. Um, it's a bit shoddy. It's a bit, you know, needs a bit of loving. It's still got to give it a real big clean. There's a few panels missing here. Um, and I was led to believe it had all its glass, but all the back's missing. It's... Um, glass as well so i think i'm just gonna get some polycarbonate sheeting for there um off ebay or something for now again we are a family of seven we're on a budget so i can't do everything you know at full cost um potting bench that was with it a bit higgledy piggledy but it'll do the job and i'm just using my grow house shelving for staging at the minute i'm gonna try and search for some cheap stuff these are from aldi they've started to flower but 249 very pretty I'll um, have to get them put out, find out where I'm going to put those. But yeah, I'm happy because I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. Um, so here's to a good growing year and lots more good updates. Right, that's it. It's time for tea now. I'm, I'm really buggered. My back's killing me. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe, hit the like button. Um, and thank you so much for all the people who have subscribed so far. It means so much to me. Um, I can only grow from here. So big shout out to everyone. Thank you very much for all your support, your comments and your suggestions. And I'll catch you in the next one.